All right, welcome to the video. We're here in Adelaide, Australia, where, oh my God, let's go fly back to 2014, November. We are here in 2023, December. We're gonna go for like almost nine years to where uh, Joey Carpstrong, I hope it's not too windy. I think it's gonna be too windy. Let me check the audio. Hopefully it's not too windy. We're gonna talk about how I turned Joey Carpstrong from a dead broke northern suburbs lad here in Adelaide, Australia, to a millionaire vegan activist. And very, very proud of Joey. Yeah, we had banter and drama, but that's, if I'm gonna let myself get affected by that, that's just my ego going on. My goal was to turn Joey into an Australian version of Gary Yorosky. And I did that, and Joey put in the work, so good on you, Joey, you did that. And I remember when I first met Joey, it was November 2014. At the Adelaide Vegan Festival, he came up to me. I was standing there with Freddie, we were talking to heaps of fans. And Joey's just like, dude, Ronnie, you're, you're the fucking man. You're, you're the reason I'm vegan. Like, I found you and I'm found fucking high, high carb, low fat. He was just, he was so excited. And I was like, stop, stop, bro. Let's just put my hands and stop. You got to do YouTube because you reckon, you reckon? I said, bro, you kill it. Crush it. I'll coach you up. Let's go. And then boom. You know, so I coached, I groomed Joey from day one. I said, start a YouTube channel. He goes, what do I call myself? I said, what are you into? He goes, oh, sort of like boxing and that. I said, it was like Joey Vegan Boxing. He started doing that one. And then, and then I was like, actually, Joey Carbstrong. That sounds good, doesn't it? So I was doing this, doing this Carbstrong stuff when you, <laughs> your carbs are strong souls, your dog, and all that sort of stuff. So Joey you know, used that name. And, you know, I created everyone's name back then, didn't I? I was like, I was created Vegan Gains, High Carb Hannah, blah, 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 Philly Banana Girl, all these names, these Fully Walkers. They're these catchy names. Catchy name works. Doing right is one of the good name because. No one knows what a Duran is. Um, but anyway, so Joey was hyped. I groomed him up. He kind of, I trained him on a bike. Got him, a, got him a, what sort of bike to get. You know, help him lose weight and stuff like that. And so he just, he was out in the northern suburbs in Adelaide, Australia, which is a really, you know, the, the opportunities out there aren't really too much. And he had a bit of a criminal background. So his job prospects, a bit windy. So let's go in this warehouse over here, cut the wind. So Joey's job prospects were a bit average. And he's like, I want to, I want to do what you're doing, Harley. I want to be a YouTuber. I'm paid to, you know, promote things and good things and vegan life, etc. And travel around. And uh, so, I remember I got an email from someone wanting to give me money, like someone with cash, saying I, I want to donate to your cause, pushing the veganism. And I said I appreciate that, but I'm already making enough money, right? But there's a guy called Joey Carbstrong check him out and he's fucking dead broke you know that's going to help him and anyway so this person got in contact with joey and i know because joey comes up to me he's like oh, i got i got offered like some crazy amount of money like what, what do i do and i said dude take the money and work your fucking ass off earn it all right spread the vegan message he's like okay and he did it you know so i was the one who helped groom from day one and i remember so many people my partner time freely she's like don't why why, why are you hanging with that guy he's just a wannabe gangster dude he's just gonna cause you drama he's got problems and so many people are like who's that dude like he came to our store today and he's like looking all you know rough and stuff gangster like it i said that's just, just you know he'll, he'll go out of that and he did and i was right and it makes me feel like a proud parent that i turned a northern suburbs lad with no one gave him a chance nobody gave joey carbstrong a fucking chance no one gave me a hand out, an olive branch, Boy, come on, I'll, I'll groom you up. No one did that. I did that. So I can stand here today as a, a proud parent saying, fuck yeah, we did that. And, and Joey, did, you know, he listened to me. He didn't, he, he never really, I mean, we had some diet disagreements and stuff because, you know, it is what it is. But other than that, he just took my advice. I said, do this video about Nate Diaz. Do this, do that, do that. And he just, boom, he just kept getting views and views and views. And I said, come to Thailand, come and, you know, come to my events and stuff like that and he did that and so he put his face out there i remember like he was we went to the vegan festival in melbourne and he was dead broke and he's like where? i'm so like we're gonna sleep and he goes i don't know i said dude fucking i'll shout you i'll pay you a hotel room and he stayed with me and stuff and uh so yeah he was just you know he was uh yeah he was a good kid to have around and then uh where we're we going with this one but yeah so i'll see his stuff come up and in, in the facebook and stuff and so just yeah it's great he's got a you know what I mean? so that's that's the example if you Surround just and then he got. I met uh, <laughs> too much Nullable White House. Calm down. And then I, I uh, set him up. Check out his roof. I set him up with a guy. Introduced these two guys, Abdullah and 
Okay, Cabra Canada Space. So I introduced Joey and a guy called Abdullah, aka the Ultra Cycling King, Glucose Network. He's got his tattoo of sugar on one shoulder and rice on the other. And so those guys, I hooked those guys up. Abdullah's really good behind the camera. He started doing some docos for Joey and then filmed his, one of his tours where they're traveling in Europe and spin activism. You know, so all that networking is what you need. You need to have success, you need a network, okay? Joey had me, I introduced him to Abdullah and then he met other people through my community, etc. You need to have a coach, a mentor. You need to have a network, all right? Yeah, I did things sort of solo back in the day, but I still had some people advising me and giving me tips and hints. I like to pay it forward, all right? Some doof doof there. I like to pay it forward. Um, you know, and my goal was always to fucking grow the vegan community so much. I remember I did a talk in 2016 where I said, I want the vegan community so big, nobody knows who I am, all right? That's how big it gets. Because back then, and people were laughing. Oh, doing right, you're like, doing right. Like, everyone knows who you are. No, no, not anymore. Because there's so much, the vegan thing is so fucking big now, thanks to me spreading all these people out. And there's plenty of people who know Joey Carlson who don't know who the fuck I am, all right? But back then, everyone who knew Joey knew him through me. So it just goes to show if you put your nose out there, you get the right people, you network, you put in the work, then anything's possible. So yeah, I turned Joey Carlson strong from Northern Suburbs broke lad who no one gave him a chance into a very, very well known vegan activist, million bucks in the bank, cashed up, don't have to worry about money ever again. That makes me feel fucking champion. And I did that with fucking iPhone videos. I'm still filming on the iPhone, okay? So, <laughs> so if you have a goal, if you have a vision, write it down and do it. Like we set goals with Joey. We set goals with X, Y, Z. And you, you gotta every day wake up and do it. And Joey was obsessed, right? That's, that's one thing he had, it was that obsession to go and do it, okay? Now again, drama and stuff, but who gives a fuck us this in the past? My goal was, and I remember Freely said to me, oh, he's gonna be drama with him, blah, 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 don't waste your time. And I said, yeah, I get that. If that happens, it happens. But my goal is to make veganism way bigger than me. I wanna be forgotten. I want it to be so fucking big, like the person who invented Krylon cans, whatever. Who knows who that name is? But everyone knows Krylon, you know? So that's that was my goal and I achieved that, okay? so. If you want to grow community, you're going to have drama, you're going to have snitches and backstabbers and people who blah, 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 and that, pff, whatever, all right? There was a part of me back in the day where I got a bit offended by that, but I'm like, hang on, Harley, step the fuck back. All right, this is not about your ego, about how you got hard done by and you got snitched and blah, 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 by whatever's. <laughs> My goal was to grow the vegan community, okay? And I did that and I'll continue to do that forever. That's just what I love doing, all right? Anyway, that's the deal, that's a little story, a little thing. If you wanna be a vegan activist, as big as Joey, I created James Aspie, got him going. Um, Ed, Earthling Ed were inspired from my street interviews back in 2014, etc. So if you want to get, if you wanna become a millionaire vegan activist like James Aspie, Joey Carlson especially, then hit me up, join my coaching group, etc. or just watch my videos, okay? Get me ebooks, whatever. You don't have to spend any money, you can watch more videos on those content, but if you want that one-on-one -on -one coaching support, Boom, then I definitely recommend accessing that. <laughs> Who the fuck has created more vegan influences than me? All right, that makes me, sounds arrogant, but that makes me the kingpin of creating vegan influences out there, okay? And I love doing that. That's what I'm fucking good at. I am born to do that, okay? I've created people who have bigger platforms than I do now, all right? Men and women, all right? It's in the cycling community, in the vegan community, and, even some gaming communities, some fucking hitters that I've created, okay? So, but my, my specialty and my passion is with the vegan stuff because fuck man, this world is crashing hard and that's what we need more of. People out there pushing vegan stuff, okay? So even if you're not vegan, still be pushing it, okay? Like, <laughs> it's, that, that's what matters at the end of the fucking day. Like, someone's like, well, X, Y, Z, I don't, I don't agree with it, that this, this, this and that. And I'm like, well, they're getting more views than you are. In fact, where the fuck are your videos encouraging people to go vegan and eat more vegan food, all right? They'll succeed in vegan life. Where are they? You know, oh, but I'm busy. Oh, I, 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 come on, excuses, excuses. The environment doesn't want to hear about your excuses. The animals, people's health, don't want to hear about your excuses, all right? Just get it done. We've got to put our egos, check them at the fucking door, okay? Check them at the fucking door. That's, that's, that's what rots communities is. You know, and I've been guilty of it as well. Just 
Check the ego at the fucking door, come in, common goal, let's fucking go, let's go. But there's millions of dollars up for grabs, okay? I did this back in 2014, I'll do it in 2015, I'll do it in 2023. Millions of dollars up for grabs in the big community, all right? Millions of dollars, look at Joey Carbstone, look at James Aspie, all these people. They get donations, donations, donations. There's plenty of money to go around, but unfortunately, there's not many vegan activists out there who stick around. Gary Ross, you got a good big pat, and he sold out. Gary, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Gary got that big cash donation, then sold out. Hey, guys, tag, pay it forward. You, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to sit down and get stoned every day on my donation cash. Gary, you sold out, brother. You sold out. Gary Roski, greatest speech ever. Greatest seller ever in the big community. I'm holding you up, bro. Step back out. Get back out there, bro. All right? Gary Yaboski <laughs> silenced himself, man. Silenced himself. <laughs> anyway, that's the deal. Calling it out. Everyone, get out there. Spread the message, man. The world is fucking needing you desperately. Stop being fucking self-doubt shit. This laziness, this undercarb, calories and calories out bullshit. Get out there. Make content. Inspire motherfuckers, just like I inspired Joe Carbs, I inspired Aspie, I inspired Earthing Lead, I inspired Freely, I inspired all these people to create content, get cash, get income, get it done. And that's what makes the world a better place, okay? Get it done. So imagine if I snobbed off Joey that first time we met. I was like, yeah, cool, boys, cool story, see you later, I gotta go. Imagine that. Imagine if I snobbed him off and I give him, didn't give him my time. Imagine if I didn't take Joey under my wing groom him up for a couple of years man i groomed joey up for a couple of years giving that support giving that belief bro you can do it let's go this is what we've got to do this is the action plan just go with it all right every young man needs that someone older experienced person to give them that self-belief that's what I did to joey hopefully joey hopefully bro you're doing that man hopefully joey Armstrong is treating fans like Duran Rider treated Joey Carbstrong on day one, before Joey Carbstrong was even called Joey Carbstrong, all right? So hopefully Joey's doing that. Hopefully Aspie's doing that. Hopefully Earthling Ed's doing that. Hopefully these people out, these influencers, are doing what Duran Rider did for them. I hope they're doing that. I hope they're doing that. Boys, are you doing that? I hope you